Leggy, whatever you want to call him. I call him Leggy because it reminds me of the woman. Um, but there you go, here's the lock. Uh, I haven't got a key for it, um, so I can't really other than do that and show you that it's locked up. There's not much I can do. Um, again, same old procedure. Line up the pins here on the bump key. See what sort of gap it needs. I've got these little grommets there, smaller than the standard ones, but still work a treat. Couple of washers. I've already previously spaced it to see how we stand. That's about where I, I like it. So the end pin's just there, in between the last two. Pop that on. Just for a bit of fun, I'm going to add my little weighted device. I call it the bat. All you do, push it through the keyhole and that's it, it does all the tension for you, saves you smashing your hands to bits while you're practicing, but in this case it just makes it clear for me to show you. I can just get my hand comfortable. Let's have a move about, there you go. Now you can see the full lock and you know, you know I'm not doing anything to open the lock. Um that's what it looks like when it's in position, pulling the key over for you. Basically, you tilt it slightly. In a doorway, it does it itself, but when you've got it in your hand, tilt it slightly so the bat is actually pulling the key around a bit more. And we're going to whip this lock. There you go, it's gone already.